on a new site installing a little water line 60 foot run here's my curb box just painting that down painting the curb box down as i see it that's his odd so then i know where to dig the next really really hard ground running into some rock and stuff so we got to get down to the bottom all right got it exposed we're way down there that is why you paint it because you can't see that orange from the kid and way at the bottom you see that little duct tape they put there that is what we will unscrew open that up a little more i'll cut this bank back so it's safe to go down in there when we go to do the hookup but this part we won't even get in the trench it's just going to be a one foot wide four foot finally through the tree mess now we're to the house i'll get these last couple scoops and then straddle my trench and pull from the house hopefully it's better dirt here but i've struggled and struggled to get that a lot of root matter in here just take the thumb and rip it out no sense in even trying to make that neat because there's this much root it's just gonna fall it's just gonna pull out and then go back down in the trench like a carpet like how these sides are and then they're just in the way so you gotta rip them out this stuff up too funny there's the well line to the well head there comes out under the fabric and it goes into the house there i'm pulling this all i see is this wire going right on out the house what the heck so it was just looped here it's going in the ground here but it's in a ton of roots so nobody's living here so it don't matter anyways we'll have new water hooked up soon yeah that was odd Hopefully it's alright in the house, if not, we'll just hook it back up. Because it's a good option still to have the well and the city sewer. You can run, run the well when you want to water things or whatever. Vice versa. Personally, I'd rather have the well. I like to drink from Mother Nature, not from the government. A lot 
Got everything cleaned out, pulled away the the uh, cheap thick duct tape they had uh, on there. So we're just gonna, the reason why I'm making this video is nobody ever shows this part of the video when hooking up water lines. So this is the curb box right here. This just pulls out, comes up off there. And this is what you spin, and that's adjustable to grade. This, this slides in and out of there. If you're grade six inches higher, you can make that go to grade. But this is your key that turns on your valve which is inside here. And then when you spin that with the tool, it spins this on and on, on and off, like so. So if I turn to the left right now, the water will come on. It's only held on by a cotter, pee, cotter key, but this is the nut, the compression fitting we gotta get off. Then that slips over the pecs. Then we'll put that back on, three quarter, tighten up and then turn that on. So I got my wrench on here. This I like to open this up just to get it open, run water in the hole a little bit make sure it works before we go any further i'm gonna pull that nut off <sighs> looking good inspect this water department will give you a new one if it's not good everything looks fine on that turn on that water we'll clean that up nice Depending on how long these curb backs sit, usually that cotter pin right here. Oh, it's hard to bend in this trench. But right here, this cotter pin, I know it's dark and the GoPro's not picking up. So cotter pin in there. So if this is loose, it's always loose, but if it comes up off in your hand, cotter pin's bad. Put a new one in it. If it's not stainless steel or it will rot out. Not a big deal. All right, that nut down there is an inch and five eighths. I just went and grabbed my wrench. Got the poly packs right there, three quarter. Ready to drill from the inside out. Trench is looking good. All right, he's uh, drilling that. We'll see when he pokes out. He should be right above that footing. It's getting louder, but I ain't seen nothing yet. Going on about eight, eight to 10 minutes right now. Oh, I see little stuff flaking off. There we go. You're good. <laughs> uh. That came out right where we knew it was going to, because there's a petition in the house right here. We measured 18 inches off that spigot. We had to hug that trench to this side. Yeah, I got it. And got the end here from under the machine. He's gonna roll the roll it out. Can I go? Oh, I'm getting tangled in the roots. Hang on, I'm caught. I'm hung up. 
dang roots. Tried to cut as many as you can back, but I'm on now. Oh, hung up, hung up. All right. We're gonna pull this out. That red cap is going in. In there. Let's see if you can see anything. Yep, it's going. Hang on. Two, three, four, five feet. I got five feet in there. Is that good? You want more than five foot inside? No, you got a foot in All right, five foot. This is class A soil. It's wicked hard. Obviously, you see me dig it. That's why I'm safe to be in this trench. There's that rubber gasket I was talking about. It usually goes in here. Yeah. But it was it was stuck on the end of that. So make sure you don't lose that when you go to pull that nut. If it's not in the nut, it might be on there. And you don't want to lose it. All right. We got our nut on there with the rubber inside. Make sure you put the rubber, the writing on the rubber facing out on that O-ring. It just makes a difference. It won't leak. Um... The other thing is we're just waiting for the insert to go into this plastic. Our water department's bringing it to us right now. After hours, which is nice. We live in the town, so they're doing us a favor. All right, we just passed inspection. It's all pressurized. <clears throat> Let me show you. So you put a wrench on that nut. You tighten it pretty tight. There's another nut in the back of that. Put two wrenches on it so you do not twist this curb box because it will twist out. It's only in copper, you know what I mean? So once you tighten that nut, once you tighten that nut, use two nuts, two wrenches, you know, just like you do on any nut, so it just doesn't spin. So you see how when it's all down, there's a U on the left and right of that nut. It goes, the U goes right around it, so it protects it.